There's loads of wonderful artists. They really, really are over time, even contemporary. One of my earliest influences, I'd say, was Gustav Klimt and Yayo Kusama. And they, they kind of, there's a decorative element in their work, a decorative symbolism that I absolutely love in their use of colour. Um, but then there's people like Kathy Colwitz, Diane Victor, the, the, the social commentary that comes to their work, the kind of, the, the kind of somberness of their work, possibly, the cleverness of what they're trying, what they say, not even trying to say, but just that it's intelligent work. Um, artists like Pat Steer, who's a very much an abstract artist, some of her stuff from the 80s, I really love because of the kind of, the way she, the compositions basically, and the kind of graphic elements she used in her work, and the abstraction, abstract use of those symbols possibly in the way they've been placed and the message that they gave. And then there's a young artist called um, Emily Hopkins, who's a British artist whose work is very figurative and I like what she's doing with her stuff at the moment. It's always interesting because I remember exactly when and why and how. And I was one of those kids that didn't really fit in, typical, I think, of a lot of artists. And um, I wasn't doing well at school, and I was in standard three, what's it, grade, what, grade three, grade five here, I think. Grade five, um, nine years old, failing, just absolutely miserable. And then in class, I did a, a painting of Helena Corville that she absolutely loved and everybody loved and that just did something for me and it's just that kind of got me going. Lockdown has been weird. Lockdown is weird. I'm quite sure it's affected a lot of people's artistic practice. I mean I know with me initially I got angsty I wasn't particularly happy. It feels, it still feels a lot to do with control. Yes, the virus is real, but there's, there's just other things that I think, because we're used to a particular kind of freedom, we find difficult to deal with. It has, all of those kind of emotions have come through in my work. Um, you know, just, I've got a painting called Waiting, because that's what we've been doing, is waiting for it to be over. There's lots of discord that's happened, especially by people with what's happened with George Floyd and Black Lives Matter. And that kind of stuff, that discord is coming through into my own work. It's just one of those things. I think it can't not, your work can't just, well, my work can't just not influence what's going on, on around me. But on the other hand, what's been fabulous is just, I've been doodling with my left hand and just that act of using an unfamiliar hand that's not particularly happy and not particularly coordinated has a line for freedom because my work is mostly um, pretty realistic so it's kind of or naturalistic I'd say probably better and so it's been nice to find kind of playful ways to abstract similar messages to what I might have been saying say a year or two ago, but using a more naturalistic voice.